it's finally autumn. It might be 2020, but at least it's autumn. Hey guys, it's Story. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Story, and I talk about books, TV, and movies. But today, we're going to be going over all of the books I want to get to before, finally, <laughs> the end of 2020. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't do TBR videos anymore. And if you don't know what that means, it means to be read. So basically, I'm going over all the books I want to read to be read. It really doesn't make any sense. I don't know why we call it that, but I have a little mini TBR shelf that I keep under underneath our TV in the bedroom. There's like a little bookshelf underneath our TV, but I just don't talk about it on my channel anymore. I used to do seasonal TBRs and I just never stuck to them. I would read maybe one or two books from that TBR, but I'm also a pretty slow reader or I wouldn't say I'm like a super slow reader, but I just don't feel the need to rush when I'm reading. Like I do it for enjoyment and fun. So I'm going to take my time with it. When I first started YouTube, I would try to rush myself and I would just always end up in a reading slump. So I don't do that anymore. And TBRs definitely just put me into reading slumps because I feel like I kind of have to read those books. So that's why I usually don't do that. But there are a few books that I really want to get to before the end of the year so I thought I might as well share them with you guys so hopefully you guys will be able to see the books because it is dark out now it's overcast so I have no lighting I'm just using my lights and we all know that my lights are not very kind to my books <laughs> but to get started the first one I want to get to and I'm going to get to is Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen if my video for this is up yet I'm I'm gonna assume it's not but if it is I'll link it down below I basically tried out this recommendation service that both and La La aka Kayla tried out on her channel. I was inspired to do the same and this is the book I ended up choosing from that recommendation list. As you can see it's not very big and I have a feeling I'm gonna get through this really fast. It is Magical Realism. I really haven't read that much Magical Realism so that's why I'm gonna read this because I'm trying to dive into the genre but I saw in the recommendation that this is kind of like Practical Magic and I was already sold because Practical Magic is one of my favorite Sandra Bullock movies. But anyways this is about a pair of sisters that are witches and they have a magic garden so very similar to practical magic they are back in their childhood home one of the girls has a child I believe and so the other sister um, is helping her whenever she comes back to town so very very similar to practical magic but like I said I'm super excited to get into this because I want to try out magical realism and also I need to finish it for that video already I started the video a long time ago but it's just taking me forever to get through midnight sun because I suck at reading, because I can't focus. Y'all have heard this many times. <laughs> so before the summer ends, I want to conclude my contemporary reads or more specifically my contemporary romance reads because that's really the only contemporary I read anymore. And so I really want to read The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I know you can barely see it. This book has been talked about a lot on YouTube and so I'm super excited to get into it. I bought it on a whim just because of all the hype. But our two main characters are sharing a flat share. So one of the two, the girl or the guy, will stay there during the day and the other one stays there at night and then I think they start a romance. A weird scenario because they don't technically like see each other at first or maybe they do. I'm not sure. I don't want to really know any more about it than that. But I'm definitely not out of my contemporary or contemporary romance phase yet. So I'm definitely going to read Garden Spells and I'll probably pick this one up right after. And then the world felt a little better because it's finally autumn. It might be 2020, but at least it's autumn. So I have a few kind of, they're not all thrillers, I guess. Maybe I have one historical fiction and one mystery and one, it's either a mystery thriller or just a mystery, but these are definitely going to be my fall reads. Starting with Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So if you've seen my books I've DNF'd video, you know that I have technically DNF'd Truly Devious. I tried to read it either one or two autumns ago and I really liked it. It definitely has that autumn feel you're looking for. You want something super just like mysterious and a little dark, super like cozy and warm. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just want something that's super mysterious. This is set in a boarding school in like Connecticut or something like that. Like upstate New York, Connecticut, something of that nature. It's this pristine academy where there have been murders in the past and now the murders are happening again. But our main character wants to be a detective so she's like all in for it and trying to solve what's going on but yeah I read about a third of the way through and then I put it down again 
and just couldn't read at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's not that I don't like reading anymore. I love books. I'm always going to love books. I just couldn't read at the time. So yeah, I, I want to pick this up again. I just think about this book all the time. I just think about all the autumn feels it was giving me. I'm at 16 books this year. I always make my Goodreads reading goal 20 books, which if you're not following me on there, you definitely should because I update that more frequently than my YouTube. But I definitely want to reach that goal and more, hopefully. I didn't reach my goal last year because I just had a really bad reading year. But this year, I'm determined I'm going to reach my goal. It's happening. The other book I have is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. So I got this based off of Haley and Bookland's recommendation. I was super intrigued by this because it's basically a historical fiction, but not a true one. I can't think of what that's called whenever you take an historical event and you kind of like twist it or give it like an alternate ending or alternate events. But basically our main character has to kill Hitler. And I think she's a, a shapeshifter. It's like historical fiction mixed with like magical realism or fantasy or something like that. I don't know, but it's very specific and I'm very intrigued. I believe she has to act like someone else or shapeshift into something or someone else in order to be in this race because the winner gets to meet Hitler and she has this super secret mission to kill Hitler. But I'm super intrigued by it and I really want to give it a try this fall because I feel like fall time is the best time for historical fiction and probably winter. Next on the list is If We Were Villains by ML Rio. So I got this based off of Books and La La's recommendation or Kayla. If you can't tell, those are my two favorite booktubers. I talk about them all the time, especially Kayla. But I feel like this would be something really good to read in the fall as well because it is a mystery. I know we have seven characters and we're trying to figure out who killed the person that died. I can't remember exactly what happened, so I'm gonna read part of the synopsis. But it says, a decade ago, Oliver is one of the seven young Shakespearean actors at Delacher Classical Conservatory, a place of keen ambition and fierce competition. In this secluded world of firelight and leather-bound books. Oliver and his friends play the same roles on stage and off. Hero, villain, tyrant, temptress. But in their fourth and final year, good-natured rivalries turn ugly. And on opening night, real violence invades the students' worlds of make-believe. In the morning, the fourth years find themselves facing their own tragedy and their greatest acting challenge yet, convincing the police, each other, and themselves that they are innocent. So do they all kill him? I really like how it plays with Shakespeare. So these are all, I guess, students that are in like a Shakespeare club or maybe like a Shakespeare acting class or something like that. So I have a feeling this is going to parallel a lot of Shakespeare's works, which is so cool. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I know Kayla really likes it and I just need a good like whodunit book. And I love when books are set in really like pristine academies. And I think that's the case here. Um, that's also the case in Truly Devious. So that's definitely a trope I like. So I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this. And then last but not least is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This is the book I've chosen to be my winter read since it's a very hefty fantasy. I I love everything about this book. I know YouTube has seen Six of Crows many, many times, but if you don't know what it is, it is set in a completely separate fantasy world called Grishaverse. The trilogy that comes before Six of Crows is going to be a TV show on Netflix, actually. I decided to skip the trilogy, which you can if you don't want to read it beforehand and read the duology. So the first book is Six of Crows and the second one is Crooked Kingdom. And I mean, this just has such a high rating on Goodreads and literally everyone and their mother loves this book. It's about a group of people who are kind of like misfits, just like bad people in general, I'm pretty sure. And they are brought together to pull off a heist. I don't know exactly what it is. I try to not spoil myself with summaries, um, especially like being on Twitter and seeing people talk about really popular books like this. I just try to avoid that. So. I don't know a lot about this, to be honest, but I'm super excited. I'm going to dedicate an entire video to reading this for the first time, um, since this is so many people's favorite book and favorite series of all time. And yeah, this is basically the only book I'm choosing for the winter, just because if I do get through all of those, I really, really want to focus on this one. And it's just such a big book. And I have a feeling I'm really going to love it and get through it very quickly, but I've been meaning to do it all year. I've talked about it in so many videos because I'm going to be giving away the duology I bought an extra set so that I can give it away in that video and yeah I just need to stop talking about it and read it already all right so those are all the books that I'm planning to read before the end of the year let me know down below what books you're trying to get to before the end of the year as well I would love to know give this video a thumbs up if you like bookish videos and of course subscribe if you haven't already if you feel like it and I will see you in my next one